All right, welcome to Quick Show. My name is Greg Matson, and I am your host. In this episode, we have John Hewlett, the founder of Cardio Miracle, the product and sponsor that we have here on the show. I want to start out with this because we've covered several things on this before, John. But but a new update for me personally, and I think for you know for anybody, the most important uh, evidence of something that actually works is actually experiencing it. And so I've talked a lot about my my blood pressure. I've talked about uh, some other cardiovascular issues and and what what Cardio Miracle has done since I started taking it. But I now have one more feather to put in my cap on this or your cap, so to speak. <laughs> and that is the gout. And this was something I had hold off, had to hold off for quite some time to, to really figure out and make sure this was something that uh, definitely was making an impact on this. I had been in the worst period of my life with gout uh, the last couple of years, where on average, and this sounds nuts, but on average, I was having an attack every once or twice every month for two years. Uh, almost two years. And, you, you know, I, I think you've experienced this before. I don't know. Anybody who's experienced gout before understands what I'm talking about and the, the pain and discomfort that you are in. It, it's just, it is severe. And so I didn't know what to do. And my, my, uh, uh, my, my doctor had been giving me additional uh, medication. I'm on dosing up on allopurinol, and then also actually taking colchicine every single day. Now, colchicine is something that rips your stomach apart. It's not good for your kidneys. It does a number of things. And, but there was no way around it for me. It was, it was like, it's either this or you're going to go through this pain all the time. So since I dosed up on uh, not the medication, but on Cardio Miracle and going three times a day, which is what I've settled on. I take a, I take a scoop of that three times a day. Um, I have moved from, for the last five months now. I have only had three attacks. And that is a huge difference. And, and the markers are there also uh, through uh, the blood tests, where the uric acid has dropped significantly. Uh, I'm down at, at four, sometimes under four, which are, I was up to as high as 11 and 13 previously. Wow. And, and so huge additional reason for me to kind of preach cardio miracle and, and tell people what this has done. Um, I don't know if you got, if you have a, a people that have talked about gout before, or obviously there are several people that have had uh, this impact uh, things that they suffer through, but this has been another big deal for me. Well, you know, Greg, uh, and I appreciate it. And, and I would invite those who are listening who are saying, oh, no, not the Cardio Miracle guy again, to listen to the importance of inflammation because gout is an inflammatory condition. So rheumatoid arthritis, carpal tunnel, uh, all kinds of aches and pains are all inflammation based and, and inflammation and uric acid seem to go hand in hand. And, you know, like, you know, if you want to talk about dieting, talk to an overweight person, if you want to talk to about gout, talk to somebody who's had gout attacks. I obviously am a candidate for both. So I had gout became a part of my life uh, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. And I remember getting ready to play in a golf tournament or to go somewhere with my friends. And I couldn't put a shoe on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you've had, you know, gout normally is, you know, is, it, the, the caricature is somebody sitting with their leg propped up on an ottoman with their big toe emanating these terrible waves. Well, I ended up, you know, I had some in the toe, but I actually had it on the top of my feet mm -hmm. and, and also in my ankle. Now, if you think it's bad on the toe, try getting it in your ankle because then you can't even stand up. It's horrific. And actually, ironically enough, when I had my life altering experience in the hospital, when they clipped a vein, I almost bled to death and that led to this whole cardio miracle nitric oxide journey uh, 15 and a half years ago. At the same time I was getting out of the hospital because I'd spent three days losing weight. The other thing, the irony of gout is often it comes from diet, stress, uh, and other inflammation types of things, but also being overweight. And so when you lose weight, 
that also triggers too much uric acid. So if you go on a crash diet or if you lose a lot of weight, that'll often trigger a gout attack. So it's like you get gout when you're overweight, you get gout when you lose weight. It was kind of like no matter what you did, gout would show up. And so uh, I learned so, you know, in an early time that charcoal capsules was very valuable for gout. Cherry juice was very good for gout. And that's because they both purify the blood of that excess uric acid. Well, that's actually what Cardio Miracle does as well. It helps not only with the blood viscosity, which is why it's really, really important in helping people uh, under this current circumstance that people are worried about blood clotting, they're worried about damaged vessels in there. Uh, you know, we hear the word per pericarditis, we hear about myocarditis, all of these inflammatory things that are affecting the heart or the lung diseases or the pulmonary problems and stresses that people have experienced the last couple of years. Um, Cardio Miracle, the extended nitric oxide, the vitamin D3, the delivery of all of these antioxidants and the anti-inflammatories have an amazing effect on the entire quality of the blood, the quality of the blood and the filtration of both the kidneys and the liver are, are benefited from the nitric oxide. So that has a dramatic impact on, on the different inflammatory responses that lead to many of the chronic illnesses that people have. Now, you bring that up, you talk about, because there, there are certain ingredients in the product that help, uh, help increase the efficacy of, of the nitric oxide, help deliver that. Tell, tell me a little bit more about the vitamin D3 and the antioxidants inside of it. Happy to. In our uh, published clinical study last summer, in the in the most the third most cited respected nutritional scientific journal in the world, it specifically said Cardio Miracle delivers antioxidants with more absorbability to the cell and anti-inflammatories. Now we have astaxanthin, which is a major major anti-inflammatory. We have uh, turmeric which is a major anti-inflammatory, curcumin, people hear about that, you can look it up. That's a major thing. But it's the nitric oxide that opens up the cellular wall of the vasculature or the arteries, the capillaries. It opens it up to the mitochondria to be receptive to the cell. So most of the vitamins people take, capsules, even some uh, liquids, just flow through the bloodstream and they get a little bit of absorbability. The nitric oxide component, which is what arginine, citrulline, ornithine, carnitine, uh, astragalus root, panax ginseng, hawthorn berry, and vitamin D all support it. We've now learned from the research that vitamin D and nitric oxide are like a one-two punch. They're like the, the Bruce Brothers, the Blues Brothers working together in a comedy routine, but they work together to help absorbability We've proved in our scientific paper that, that our particular product actually helps uh, access the stored vitamin D in the cell. I, I had wondered why we had such an extraordinary increase in vitamin D levels with people who took Cardio Miracle. I had my suspicions that it had something to do with absorbability, but I had no idea. I didn't even know that vitamin D was stored in the fat cells. I didn't know that. I, I mean, I, I'm not a physiologist. I just was trying to follow common sense and piecing things together. But I knew that vitamin D had been proven clinically that it had a dramatic impact on heart health and cardiovascular vessel health. I knew that. That was what the science said. So I thought if you had great, vitamin, great nitric oxide for 24 hours a day, therapeutically, that would make the vitamin D more absorbable. Well, vitamin D is just a very, very, it's a, it's a neurohormone neuro hormone. Well, what happens in most chronic illness? Neuroinflammation. <laughs> and so when you have a neuro hormone that helps balance out what the neurological system needs, then you're going to have something that helps with inflammation. So then when you add organic carrots and beets and, and uh, coconut water and uh, raspberries and other types of great, great organic vitamins and uh, well, or organic powders and uh, antioxidants, 
then that's going to have grapeseed extracts, a great antioxidant, quercetin. Those things are all great. And, and when people often ask me, they go, well, why do you have 53 ingredients in your product? And I said, well, I just wanted to accomplish as much as possible. But now the science has proven that all of those kind of make it work more like a symphony as opposed to just having trumpets or just having a, a, you know, a, 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 a group of drums in one corner. It blends it all together to help improve the quality of the blood, improve the health of the vessel, the cardiovascular vessel, which we now are hearing very definitive research that the pandemic was fueled by something that created a spike protein. And that the protocols also were trying to create spike proteins to fight the spike proteins. Well, guess what? Spike proteins damage the lining of the artery. That's what they are intended to do. So having something that helps protect and heal and lower inflammation in the lining of the artery that's perhaps been under attack in a lot of these scenarios we've seen the last couple of years is really, really important. And so we actually have in this scientific study, not me making a claim, just the scientific study, that it basically says that this formula should have dramatically impressive results in dealing with COVID-19. It actually says those words in the study published in August of, of 2022. So we are actually seeing people who have problems that are associated with having uh, been afflicted by the virus and, and, and even some who've been afflicted by other things attached to it in, in the protocols. They're seeing some relief and some benefit because most of these things have an inflammatory type of an effect. So we're very, very pleased with the results people are getting in the inflammatory area. And, and, and gout, as you know, the uric acid thing is kind of a precursor for heart disease. And with your diabetes and having have, had a heart incident before, that's, you know, and, and I had a family history of heart disease. So gout was no surprise for me, but it's kind of a warning sign that you don't want that uric acid to get out of control because that damages the lining of the artery, which then affects everything. So uh, they're, they're all part of the equation. So I couldn't be happier that you're seeing results with your uric acid levels. I think you'll see some major improvement in your inflammation markers and your blood pressure and other things obviously reflect the health and strength of your vascular system because blood pressure goes up when it's weakening and it kind of expands and the body has to pump more blood to be able to get water to the end of the row, so to speak. Yeah. I want to be clear on that. I don't have diabetes. I am pre-diabetic. Oh, I'm but, sorry. Yeah, I, thought, not, I don't actually have diabetes, but thank so, heavens. Well, that's great. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and our paper on diabetes actually said it can actually, the paper says this, they can take somebody from pre-diabetic to no longer being pre-diabetic. Yeah. Okay. So on the circulatory system in, on the NIH, right. Uh, and national Institute of health.gov um, very official uh, publication website. Uh, it talks about a few different things about nitric oxide and the benefits of this. One of them is what we've been talking about here is the circulatory system. And those of you who have listened to me before know that I have actually taken a home blood pressure monitor and, and been working with that for several months and have seen the changes, right? I've seen these changes. And, um, but here's what it says precisely. It says nitric oxide appears to help your body dilate and constrict your blood vessels. This can improve blood pressure and therefore your heart health. Now, this is what my cardiologist says. I was, I was just there yesterday. And, and he says, oh, wow. look, the reason, like, I, I asked him, like, what's the big deal about blood pressure? I mean, why do you care about that at this point? Are you worried about a heart attack? Are you, you know, why, what? And he said, no, yeah, that's not the problem. He said, because I've had bypass surgery, right? Triple bypass surgery previously. He said, the problem with high blood pressure is, is when you have it consistently, even just months or years or decades, but even, even months, and you have it consistently, what it can do is it le it leans it, it, le it leads itself to the the uh, damage of the interior of your arteries, which is the endothelial lining, exactly. Yeah, and and so when it does that, what happens is it creates this cavernous, rough area that then attracts the plaque, and exactly. and the plaque buildup. He said that's the problem. You need to have a fluid, totally fluid blood flow going through there 
without anything being trapped and stopped up on the, on the inside lining of the, uh, of the blood vessels. So I said, okay, now I get it. Right. Okay. So, so it's not, because I don't have a, a valve problem or an issue like that with my heart where I'm worried about the high blood pressure is all of a sudden going to trigger something. The problem is the arteries and, and the consistent high blood pressure is a major problem for that. It, so it creates, can you talk to that a little bit? Sure. Oh, I, that, great. I, actually, a great analysis from your cardiologist. I'm impressed with that. It's kind of like I was, I was in Montana this last weekend for a family baptism. And the highway, you go along the highway, and, and all of you know that in the winter, other than people who live in Arizona and California, um, the, what potholes are and how you go from the paved road to a dirt road. And in the winter, the ice fills up in these little things, and these holes become deeper and deeper. They're covered with ice. You break the ice. They get deeper still. And you're going across these dirt roads that have just cavernous uh, potholes of ice and the potholes in the dirt and the mud and whatever. The same thing happens on highways that aren't maintained. Isn't it ironic that our government has all this money to spend on who knows what, but our highways are, are terrible in a lot of places. Well, the same thing occurs in your blood vessel. These little schisms are like little potholes. And so what happens is the body in its effort to keep you alive sends out the road crew to patch it over uh, with a patch. And they keep patching and patching, and then things start sticking to the patch. And all of a sudden, now you've got a 70% constriction from all the patching going on from all of the artery irritation and all of the inflammation that, that is systemic and has caused the problem. So it's merely the body trying to protect itself because guess what? You start, you break through that wall of the artery. Now you have internal bleeding, you, you throw a clot, you have a stroke. You have all kinds of problems. And so that's what it essentially leads to. But it's that ongoing irritation from either an acidic diet. It's from stress. Stress is, stress is one of the biggest contributors to sticky arteries because that's the body's mechanism. The blood gets acidic. Acidic wears down the lining of the artery. The artery sends in the repair. The body sends in the repair crew. And all of a sudden, you've got this ongoing construction zone and all of us have driven through construction zones that's essentially what's going on in our body unless we can keep that arterial line in the hov line and that's what essentially is that nitric oxide 24 7 creates an, an hov line for your blood without any potholes right yeah that's that's a good way to put it now i've got a uh biochemist that's coming onto the show soon and one of the things he focuses on is nitric oxide. And he says one of the things that he gets hired for and, and, and looking into things is, well, two things. One is actual mental clarity and focus, which is something I haven't explored as much with nitric oxide. He said, this is a major thing. He actually works for uh, companies that do research and, and uh, create actually products and other things for uh, anxiety and depression and, 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 you know, mental fog and different things like that. And then takes it up a notch with other organizations that are focused on athletic performance, mm -hmm. both on the physiological side of, of, Hey, you know, what's your cardiovascular system doing in your blood flow, but also on the higher level of mental focus to uh, th that is needed at high levels for athletic performance, right? So for like golfers, you know, you may not need as much stress on the cardiovascular system, but the the, the clarity has got to be there. And so he says in, in his in his research is that the nitric oxide, what it does is it actually does bring that performance up both on a cardiovascular side, but also on a mental clarity and, and the ability to focus side. What have you seen from, from that mental side of nitric oxide? Incredible. And that's because the delivery of the neuro hormone of the vitamin D as the sidekick helps to heal the myelian sheath and the neurological endings and the inflammatory response. It really all boils down to, Greg, inflammation. And when you heal, the, these are micro capillaries. These are the smallest of smallest of vessels. So it's like you having a drip system throughout your yard in, in Arizona, 
And if you get it clogged up at the end of the line, it just slowly creeps back to the source. And eventually you've got the whole line, that, you know, the entire yard dying in the heat of the summer because the drip line is clogged up. Well, the same thing is the, the two most, the most capillaries in your body are in your colon and in your brain. <laughs> And so you end up having, if you have problems in the colon, you end up having problems in the brain, strangely enough, because it's all about peripheral arteries or the capillaries. These micro capillaries are the, essentially the sprinkling system of life. And so they're the first ones that get blocked or occluded or atherosclerotic or inflamed. And when they get blocked, then everything starts shutting down from the outside in. And the brain is, is the furthest extremity away, you know, your feet and your brain. So what do people get? Neuropathy. And then they start getting Alzheimer's and dementia and ALS and, and all of the, you know, uh, they get uh, cystic fibrosis or they get uh, um, the, all these different uh, neurological diseases. So we're seeing that if you heal the capillaries, this isn't just about blood flow and blood pressure. It's healing the capillaries. So our current latest research that we're undergoing is the connection between the nitric oxide, the vitamin D delivery, the antioxidants, the anti-inflammatories, and its impact on brain clarity and health. And the golfers tell us that they have more clarity. The housewives tell us they have more clarity. John Hewlett has more clarity when he's taking and building his nitric oxide. I assume that you've experienced that. The challenge is most people, many are taking statin drugs uh, for whatever reason, and some of them I'm sure are probably valid, but the biggest complaint people often talk about with statin drugs for cholesterol is they feel like they have brain fog. Well, if, you're, if you don't have enough oil in your car, your car's gonna sputter and not run very well. Well, guess what? Cholesterol's not, public enemy number one, that's a pharmaceutical myth. Cholesterol is the oil of the body. It keeps lubricating the nerve endings. So if you just shut off all of the cholesterol in the effort to prevent heart disease, you're gonna be shutting off the oil that's needed to keep the rest of your body functioning. So I'm much more an advocate of blood flow, oxygen delivery, nutrient delivery, and get rid of the drugs that are going counterintuitive to the body's natural function. And then, you know, eat good oils, eat avocados, eat, uh, use olive oil, use things that have the good fats, because even the dietary people have changed their tune from a number of years ago. You remember when butter was public enemy number one, sure. everyone went to margarine. And then all of a sudden we see a huge outbreak of Alzheimer's and dementia. We see all kinds of problems. And now all of a sudden people say, well, maybe butter's okay. But certainly most agree that the natural fats in avocados and those types of things, coconut, coconut oil, those types of things from coconuts are the good fats that people should have, the, you know, the highest level nutritionists. But, but there was a time not very long ago in both of our lifetimes where, you know, everyone was eating low fat and guess what they did? To, they took the fat out and then they put the sugar in. Mm -hmm. So you ended up taking away the oil of the body and then adding the sugar, which adds to the inflammation of the body. Well, is it any wonder that all of a sudden we've seen a huge outbreak of cancer, increase in heart disease, all these things in the name of preventing cholesterol. And all of a sudden we ended up having the highest rates of heart disease and cancer in our lifetimes. Yeah, no, the low fat diet and the honestly, the food pyramid that was produced by the U.S. government is is <laughs> is the laughable cause i think of all metabolic diseases in my <laughs> humble opinion that's true it, it has been outrageous uh what what and, and still now you're starting to see the medical industry kind of start to move uh Slowly. a little bit on that i've talked to Slowly. several doctors and they're they're moving a little bit in, in that direction there's still that some that hold on to that legacy of that low-fat diet but uh the only time that if you look at the real the real research the only time that the fat is a problem is when you have heavy doses of simple carbohydrates right. and, and, and your body is oh, burning true. through those simple carbs and then starting to store everything else. Right. Yeah. And that, that, but you know, there's people that live on an only fat diet. <laughs> it's, I know, you know, in certain parts of the world, it's, it's not, uh, the, the fat yeah. isn't the problem. 
Right. So now so it's, one it's, more it's, point it's, on this. Go ahead, yeah, John. Go ahead. Did you say something? No, good. No, go. go okay. So one more point. So on the Molinsky report, this is a report that came out, uh, uh, a paper, a research paper on specifically Cardio Miracle from Ohio University. Um, there's one point of the conclusion I wanted to go over. You mentioned this word, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. And, and then, and then talk about what it means for cardiovascular disease. And it might be what we've already addressed, but let me, let me quote what it says here. It says combined treatment of endothelial cells with vitamin D3, L-arginine and L-citrulline improved vascular function as evidenced by increased uh, nitric oxide bioavailability. It reduced oxidative stress and significantly increased the overall nitric oxide ratio. Then it says this effect is potentiated in a synergistic manner in the presence of the antioxidants. This effect may be of clinical importance for the restoration of dysfunctional endothelium that has been damaged by cardiovascular diseases. Now, for some reason, I think this is talking directly to me, but I need you to clarify this for me. What does that mean that the effect of this uh, will be important for clinicians for the restoration of dysfunctional endothelium that has been damaged by cardiovascular diseases. You know, first of all, kudos for reading and, and over and over the Malinsky study. That is, <laughs> that is not for the faint of heart. And he, he's arguably the smartest biochemist in the world. And uh, it was a, an honor to, to be able to pay the University of Ohio Foundation to have him do a clinical study. And his comment to me was, what if it doesn't work? And I said, that's why I'm paying you because I have better things to do. If it doesn't work, I want to know. And he called me 60 days later. He says, I'm stunned. I've never seen, I've never seen a nitric oxide delivery like, like this. He, what he called it your compound, your cardio miracle compound. The endothelial cell is the single cell of the body. It's a single cell membrane that lines every capillary, artery, organ, and system in the body. It's a single cell. It's called the endothelial cell. It's the largest member of the endocrine system. It is the regulator of all bodily functions. I didn't, I remember I was in the nitric oxide world for four or five years and I'd never even heard of the endothelium. So I knew nothing about it. But ironically enough, what it they and especially the last three years, and this is why this has been so amazing. What's been going on the last three years, the attack from the virus or whatever it is was designed to attack the endothelial lining. That's what it was designed to do. So the dysfunction of the endothelium. If you look up endothelial dysfunction, it is at the root of all chronic illness. It's at the root. So a dysfunctional endothelial lining is an inflamed, an abrased, um, an attacked, a perforated endothelial lining. That lining is protecting your cells against intruders. It's the first responder. It's the last line of defense against intrusion to your cell, which then gets into your whole DNA and messing up your whole body. So the beautiful part of nitric oxide that was discovered really in the last 35, 40 years, is that the endothelial lining, if it's healthy, produces long-term nitric oxide. It helps regulate blood flow. It helps, it's the gatekeeper of the cell of what nutrition or what toxin it lets into the cell. So if you have a healthy endothelial lining, the benefits are absolutely almost the most essential in the entire bodily system. And nitric oxide is made and expressed in the endothelium. That's where it comes from. It doesn't come hmm. in a glass. You don't get nitric oxide in a glass. You get ingredients that stimulate and heal the endothelial lining to then express 24 hour nitric oxide, which essentially becomes anti-aging. It becomes blood flow. It becomes oxygen delivery. It becomes reparative. And it also helps modulate the organs to purify the blood, i.e the uric acid drop, the glucose and insulin receptivity for a diabetic, every function of the body actually comes back to the core basis of endothelial health, which is quite interesting. Now, see, John, this is why I'm excited about this, because uh, for me, the, uh, 
the specifics, the research, the study, the lab work, and my own personal, uh, you know, experience with this have got to ring true, right? For me to have you sponsor. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's crucial to me. Yeah. And so it's, it's, you know, having all that come together is just, it, it's <laughs> awesome. It really is. And, and, and I really do take the product every day. I do take it three times a day and it has been significant in terms of uh, uh, changes to certain problems that I've had with my health. So I'm very happy to have Cardio Miracle as a sponsor for Quick Show. John, appreciate your time. We'll have you again on soon. And, uh, well. Greg, I wanted to just, one last thing. Yeah, you know, sure. I first, I reached out to you because I, I stumbled across your broadcast, as I had with, you know, I'd had a relationship with Scott and Maureen Proctor with Meridian and a relationship with Scott Palmer. But I saw yours and I was very impressed with what you were doing and the, the stance you were taking to help educate, educate, not, not dominate or convince people, but to educate people on the challenges that we've seen. And when I said, you ought to try this, and I knew nothing about your health history, you and I had never met personally. And you said, well, you got to understand, I, I, I'm a serious researcher, and I'm going to take a really tough look at this. And I said, what did I say? I said, wear yourself out. The deeper you look, the more exciting it's going to be for you. And, and, and I said, here, let me send you some. You try it for 60 days. You get your blood work done. You do the research. You do the homework because you're a, a bright guy. And I would just say to anyone listening, do your homework. Do your own research. Make yourself. We offer an ironclad money-back guarantee. We're only trying to help people who want to help themselves. And we're not against the medical profession. We're not against everything. We, we are against evil and tyranny. We are against people trying to infringe on our rights. We are against propagandists taking away from the important doctrines of the gospel and everything else. So we're in total alignment in all of those missions. But we're only trying to help people not be dependent upon pain, misery, dysfunction, or inflammation in trying to help them have a better life here on earth so they can serve humanity, serve the Lord, serve, serve whatever is important to them, their family and loved ones, instead of having their life compromised by disability, inflammation, surgeries, uh, mental illness, whatever. We're just trying to help everyone have a better mortal experience. And so that's why we're doing what we're doing. Great, John. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Greg. All right. Great. Another one in the books. Well, you're great. You're great. You know, seriously, I can't, I'm not, I'm not flattering you. I'm telling you, that's darn impressive that you have, read that many, you know, multiple times. Yes. And, and seriously, uh, have you read the frontier study? The, the yes. one? Yeah. Yes. See, I mean that, and see, I'm actually in a, in a fight right now with my researchers because I said, you told me you would have a dementia article for me by the end of December. Hmm. And here we are in February. And I said, I'm paying you $20,000 a month. So stop giving me excuses, either get it done or don't get it done. But I said, because, you know, I, I have all the research I need and no one else has any, there isn't a supplement on earth that has the research now that I have validating this product, mm -hmm. but I, and, and I'm going to do some clinicals. Oh, I, the thing I was going to mention, I'll mention to you, there is an amazing connection now between periodontal disease and Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. dementia. Really? Eight years ago, eight years ago, I, I was speaking at a meeting of dentists and they thought I had lost my mind. They said, who in the hell are you? You don't know what you're talking about. Because I said, there's a connection between periodontal disease and heart disease. Well, four years ago, it came out clear as a bell. There's a terrific uh, connection between periodontal disease and heart disease. Well, now they finally connected that. So what is it, Greg? It's endothelial dysfunction of the microcapillaries. It's the same problem that creates heart disease, that creates lung dysfunction, that creates Alzheimer's and dementia and everything else. It's all the same because it all deals with the endothelial cell. So you have, you've struck upon the mother load of where the problem is. It all comes back to the endothelial cell and whether it replicates healthy, it expresses nitric oxide and it, it reduces inflammation. And that's what Malinsky proved that our compound bathing in one endothelial cell 
express nitric oxide for 24 to 36 hours. He was blown away. He said, normally arginine, beets, whatever, will express nitric oxide for two hours, maybe. He says, yours did 24 to 36 hours. He says, but also yours because of the antioxidants that you were delivering reduced the free radical peroxynitrite by 50%. He said, that's un unheard of. Hmm. Nobody's ever been able to figure that out. I said, well, I didn't figure it out. I just stumbled across it. But that's what, that's what having a safe antioxidant-based compound with multiple dimensions of, of time-release nitric oxide stimulation, which is what we have, has created this. So that's, that's the magic behind the magic, but that's why it works. Great. That's awesome. All right. All right, John, what are you up to this week? Where are you going? You staying home? Well, I, uh, we just got back from Montana. We had the most wonderful situation. My, my, uh, uh, wife's grand, uh, uh, my wife's daughter had been estranged from the church for 16 years. She had, uh, had a baby out of wedlock. She ended up marrying one of the, uh, all red, um, uh, apostles sons, one of the lost boys from Pinesdale, Montana. I don't know if you know much about the all red polygamous group. There was the Jeffs and the all reds, the Warren Jeffs group, which is Colorado city, Hillsdale. And, and ultimately it used to be the mouth of little Cottonwood Canyon. And then there was the rule and all red group. The one who rule and all red was the osteopath who was murdered by the Lafferty's back in the seventies. Okay. Uh, he was the founder. He and rule and Jeffs and rule and all red were the contemporaries that, that, that perpetuated the, um, polygamous movement. Hmm. And then they had a split. And then Allred went his way, Jeffs went the other way. The Jeffs group has gone totally wacky and crazy. But I ended up being employing Warren Jeffs' oldest brother, who was the son of, of, uh, of Ruland Jeffs. Uh, he was my carpenter, my foreman of my big estate that I had back in the 90s. Uh, and was a wonderful guy. His wives, two of his wives were our cleaning ladies. So I knew, I know more about the Jeffs group than probably anyone on earth other than people in it. And then I moved to Montana and, and the all red group had their biggest stake in Montana that had developed. They were the Murray Bluffdale. You know, when you see the big church down in Bluffdale, that's, mm -hmm. that's the all reds. And the all reds are the ones who are the Barlows that have the cabinet makers and the Jeffs are the ones who have the steeds who are all of the excavation people. So I, so my wife, Janet, her daughter married an apostle in the all red groups, son, one of his 50 children. Wow. And he had left the fold and moved to Salt Lake and he and Janet's daughter got together. Well, he's a wonderful guy. He's a brilliant computer software engineer. And in the last three years, we brought them back to the church. And so I baptized him a year and a half ago. And they are, while people are falling away, they've come back. And he was a part of this dysfunctional polygamous family uh, with virtually a, you know, a second wife and 10 brothers and sisters. His, his mother was the second wife. So they lived in the trailer while the first wife lived in the big house. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been very, very interesting. So we were at their place baptizing their son and being a part of of their family and it's been and it's so interesting because here's this kid who was so damaged by his upbringing and yet he stood up and gave the most beautiful talk at the baptism of his son that you could ever imagine so we've had this so we're in montana having this wonderful experience with them and then i've got to go to i'm going to Mexico, actually, to get some stem cells for some of my skin issues that I've been dealing with for a number of years. Going there next week. I was going this week, but I'm going next week. And then I'm, uh, and then I've got to go to Florida, and I've got to go, you know, all over the place. So I've got, we got a lot going on. Business is booming, but I, I get myself in the middle of all this, these freedom fighters, and now they're all fighting with each other. And I mean, it's like money and power and glory get in the way of everything. They and do. <laughs> it's been really, really, really interesting. So I, 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 from what I've heard, I think you'll find the temple uh, changes and enhancements very, very valuable. It's very interesting. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And, uh, you know, I think uh, hold to the rod and the rod is the gospel of Jesus Christ and the Savior and the Book of Mormon and the teachings of the prophet Joseph and 
and uh, following the the guidance as best we can. You know. Yep. I agree. So I appreciate all you're doing, Greg. You're an awesome guy. And, hey, John, and I appreciate it. A reason to go to Tucson and a reason to come to Arizona. So we'll probably be down there sometime in the next. Yeah, month. love to have you down. I'll let you know. Love to see you. All right, all right. let's get let's get me to a thousand subscribers. We want to get you to a thousand subscribers. You've done a great job in that. You've laid the groundwork for it, and that's what will do it. I think today's will be good. You're continued. Uh, just, I, I think the best is just challenge people. Hey, you got a money back guarantee. You got everything in the world to gain. Look at the comments from the people who've been taking this product. The comments are unbelievable. So you know, everyone, everyone should give it a try if it's if it is what people are saying. A lot of really smart people are endorsing this and taking it every day to strengthen their immune system so they don't get sick, so they don't have to live in fear from all of these government mandates and contrived things that are going on. I mean, people got sick the last three years, but they didn't get near as sick as they needed to. A lot of it was the separation, the fear, the protocols, all of those things contributed more to the deaths than anything else. Yeah. So, okay. All, the best. all right, John. Thanks so See much. You later. Appreciate okay. it. Bye-bye.